the Flagstaff Shakespeare Festival, better known as Flag Shakes, is putting on shows in the historic Reardon Mansion starting this weekend. Flag Shakes usually portrays classics of the Renaissance, but for this spring season, they chose two original Jewish plays to bring to life. NAZ Today's Joy Johnson has more. The Riordan Mansion has a deep-rooted history here in Flagstaff. It was built in 1904 for two families that played a vital role in establishing Flagstaff's early lumber industry. And Flag Shakes director Garrison Garcia appreciates the architecture in the old home's character. The Riordan Mansion has a lot of history in Flagstaff and exploring a play that has such, um, such traditional roots in place and time was really important to us. But choosing Riordan Mansion as a venue for Flag Shakes' performances meant they had to accommodate for the building shortcomings. Because this is a historic mansion and also has historic electricity, we had to make some, um, some tough decisions about how we'd use our tech in the show. So we've gone with fewer lighting cues, um, less complex lighting schemes than we might usually choose. Also rooted in the mansion's legacy is an interesting past that gives life to the plays in contrasting ways. The Reardon like family weren't very like big fans of, of Jews um, as were you know not a lot of people at that time so I think it's really interesting of a juxtaposition to be performing the, these shows in their home and it was very unusual for people for Jewish people to write in Yiddish a story that was so harsh against his own people, um, especially a story that talks about prostitutes in a brothel and talks about lesbianism. Um, and it was a really, really big deal then. And I think it's still a really big deal right now, especially because we're performing this during Holocaust Remembrance Weekend. Although God of Vengeance was written in the early 1900s, the themes that appear throughout the play are still relevant to our society today illustrates family dynamics in a way that maybe we don't like to talk about them. Uh, it's a very uh, <laughs> combative family and there are a lot of things they struggle with and it's all out there. Um, and how you see yourself and how society sees you and what you're trying to do to be a good person, those are all themes that are discussed in the play. Premiering this Friday, God of Vengeance is the original play and the play Indecent, which opens next weekend, is the result of God of Vengeance's unfortunate ending. Um, immediately after opening night, the cast that was performing was arrested and they were thrown in jail. And it was because the play that they were showing was indecent. So it was ruled as indecent. It was called indecent by the, by the law, law enforcement. The other play that our cast is doing is called indecent. And it's the story of that first showing of God of Vengeance and the cast that got arrested, and then the story that happened after that. Joy Johnson, NAZ Today. For more information about dates and ticket pricing for these shows, visit flagshakes.org.